if you think that free will is some somehow an ability of human beings to not be guided by the laws of physics, then you were in trouble long before quantum mechanics came along, okay? I don't think that quantum mechanics is very relevant here. All quantum mechanics says is we can't exactly predict what's, what the outcome will be, but there's still laws that say what the relative probabilities are. So I really don't think that quantum mechanics com it conflicts or helps free will in any way. That's a separate philosophical problem. Could it be that what we perceive as free will is some version of the probability space that quantum mechanics grants its particles? Well, it, I would say that's almost exactly true, but you don't even need quantum mechanics to say it. You could just say it classically. You don't know the position and the velocity of every molecule and atom in your body. So when we talk about human being, this is what is called the compatibilist view of free will, which is the most common one among philosophers. When we talk about human beings, of course we talk in a language of probabilities and choices and volition and willpower because we are not perfect calculating machines that can say exactly what's going to happen. So it makes perfect sense to talk about the free will that people have, not because they're able to overcome the laws of physics, but because that's the best way we have of describing them in the real world.